everyone. Welcome to the Geek Group. I'm Paul Kidwell. I'm Dan Eakin. Tonight we're going to be working on the overhead camera gantry project. In past videos, we've dealt with the control circuitry uh, using an Arduino. Uh, we need a way to interface an Arduino to a high current motor to run the camera side to side and fore and aft. Um, to do that, we're going to be building an H bridge circuit. And um, Dan, I think we have a whiteboard here that yes. we can actually start using to show what we're going to do. All right. First off, we need a motor. So All right. why don't you give me a motor? There's a motor. And we're going to be running this on 12 volts. So we'll put 12 volts up there. And you need the other half of the circuit, so ground down here. All right, now, when you run a motor, you put ground on one side and 12 volts on the other. So there we go. And that'll mo run the motor, well, say, counterclockwise. All right. To run the motor the other direction, we need to uh, reverse that would be like that, wouldn't it? Yes. That would come in there and go out the other side. Yes. And that would run it clockwise. That way, I suppose. All right. So we need some way of turning that power on and off. All right. So why don't we put some switches in there? And we're going to just put those switches from there to there. There to there, there to there, and there to there. And drawing the rest of our wires. Okay, so now if you turn this switch on and this switch on, you put plus 12 volts here. So it turn this way. Yes, and ground over here. If you turn those off, and turn this switch and this switch on, you wind up with your plus 12 over here and your ground over there, and you turn the other way. Okay. Now, you don't want to sit there and actually deal with switches and having to control multiple pain, ones. Yeah. That would be a pain. We have a wonderful part called a transistor, which is an electronic switch, among other things. And there's two different varieties. There's okay. uh, positive and negative, P-channel and N-channel transistors. So we're going to use PNP transistors on top, and those have uh, the arrow pointing towards the base, yes? Okay. Same thing over here. And then NPN transistors down here, which have so the arrow on the bottom like pointing away. Yep, oh. that's correct. Now, we use conventional current flow for the symbols we use. So the arrows always follow the direction of current flow. So from positive to negative, thank you, Ben Franklin. Um, from the top, down, follows the direction of the arrow, down through the motor, and follows the direction of the arrow again. So if this transistor and this transistor are turned on, don't, yeah, just A and A, B and B. Okay. So if you turn on A and A, your motor will run one way. Yep. And if you turn on B and B, it'll run the other way. Great. All right, now, a couple of things about how you turn transistors on. It's the, okay, the line with no arrow, arrow is the collector. The okay. line with the arrow is an emitter. And the line that goes to the horizontal line, that's your base. So collector, emitter, and base. Now up here, your emitter, again, is one with the arrow. And collector is here. And base would be over here. Now, what turns a transistor on is the emitter to base voltage. On an end channel, if you put a positive voltage relative to the emitter, it'll turn on. On a P channel, if you put a negative voltage relative to the emitter, it'll turn on. So we can just connect the Arduino we could, we're not quite ready to direct connect the Arduino to the P channels. You could direct connect it to the N channels and it'll work just fine. So we can direct connect an Arduino to an NPN transistor, but we can't quite do that with a PNP. 
Okay. Because we're running at 12 volts. The Arduino is running at five. Right. If you tie an Arduino to a PNP transistor, you can never get it to turn off because putting five volts in here, you're not going to get this voltage equal to here. Right. So this transistor would be on all the time, and that's not acceptable. Right. So what we have to do is use a resistor to tie the base to 12 volts. So give me a resistor. That's good. Go over to 12 volts. And now we'll use another transistor, another NPN, coming off there and tie that one down to ground. All right, and draw my base in. Now, when this point is tied to zero or ground, okay. this transistor will be off. Okay. So the base on this transistor will be pulled up by the resistor to 12 volts, and that will shut this one off. Okay. If you tie that into your Arduino, All right. and you put a logical one out on the pin, which would be five volts, you turn that transistor on, this transistor pulls the base down to ground. Okay. And that'll turn that transistor on. Great. All right. So using this kind of two-stage arrangement, we can use the Arduino to control a PNP transistor now. Yes. All right. Now, we need to mirror our circuit over here as well. Now, there's one other thing we have to deal with in that... Um, you don't want to directly tie your I.O. pin to the transistors. You need a little bit of current limiting in there. Okay. Generally, we put a 1K resistor in. So put a 1K, and that's on all four of these NPN transistors. I'll do a little re erasing for you, and we'll redo that. Okay, now... When this guy and this guy are turned on, you'll rotate one way. Mm -hmm. And when this guy and this guy are turned on, you'll rotate the other. Right. Well, we got four inputs, but in reality, there's only two conditions. Well, there's three. There's everything off. Right. There's A on, which is there and there, and B off, or B on and A off. Well, okay. the A's are the same circuit. So you can tie your B here to the B there. Right. And your A here to the A there. And that way you only have two D inputs to, to worry about. Right. All right, so why don't we draw that in? All right. I think I'll draw the A. Hold on, you're not going off the right spot. Yeah. I'm Where's, not. Oh, I'm where, not. Hold on, where are, we to, where are we coming off of? I have to come off this MPN you know, here. You're going to come off of right there. Right here. And go to right there. And then I'm going to get rid of that line there. So it's and not then you're going to go from here. Okay, down to this. Yes. Oh, you're going to start doing loopies in. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, we've got two connection points to our Arduino. Yep. That would be A, and that would be B. All right. So putting zero and zero volts on those two lines, everything's off. Right. You put a one there. This guy turns on, this guy turns on, you rotate one direction, you put, turn that to a zero and you put a one there, and it's backwards, this guy's on, this guy's on, you rotate the other direction. Great. You got one thing to worry about. If you put a logical one on both of those output pins, five volts on out, both, that guy turns on, that guy turns on, that guy turns on, and you wind up with a 12 volt direct path to ground, and everything turns to smoke. I'm familiar so, with the smoke. Yes. So that's one condition you have to guard for. But you can, you can prevent that in the code. We can, we can prevent that in the code. Um, there's things like the reset condition of the pins you have to worry about. You have to go from power on to zero, zero on both of them very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, you can set it up so that you're not actually turning the 12 volts on until the software is up and running. You can have that under like a relay control to just not have 12 volts on until you're ready to start controlling it. There's a bunch of different ways you can do that. And it's a little bit much for this video, but we have a circuit. Well, I do got a question for you. Sure. I should be able to control the speed of the motor, not just the direction of the motor. Okay. 
Uh, you can control the speed of the motor with pulse width modulation on the outputs. Okay, so I could, I could use PWM here and here. Correct. Could I not use just one PWM output here as another, as another transistor coming in on? Should be able to. You would be rapidly turning the 12 volt, or the, yeah, the 12 volts on and off, and how, not something I've played around with, but should be doable. Again, you're going to need a two-stage arrangement because you're going to use a PNP transistor there. So okay. it's the other. Oh, right, it would yeah. be. Solid line on the bottom, arrow pointing towards the base on the top. So you're going to need that arrangement right This there, entire circuit right here. here again. Okay. Yes. Well, that's simple enough. I, uh, I suppose we can, uh, there's not a lot of room to draw that in there. So we'll no. just go without for this, for this diagram. Yeah, put your, there you go. So. All right, so there's our design. Uh, the next step will be to actually implement this in a circuit and get it built. Now this only controls the one motor. We're going to take this and duplicate it again. Yes. This would be like for left and right. Okay. You need the whole thing duplicated for Four forwards and, and backwards. Yeah. All right. Great. So thank you for watching. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and donate. I'm Paul Kidwell. I'm Dan Eakin. And we'll see you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.